Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to create sections within your watch list using the TradingView platform. Now, sections are a very straightforward concept. What it's going to allow you to do is create sections in the watch list where you can categorize them and you can basically add different instruments specific to those sections. You can use sections in any way that you want. For me, for example, I typically like to break it down in different category groups of markets. So, for example, index products energy products, currencies, metals, etc. So first things first, right now I have a watch list open. If for any reason you don't see your watch list, you probably have it minimized. Just make sure you click the little watch list button on the right side toolbar, and this will open up your watch list. Now I currently already have an indexes section already created, which you can see here. And whenever it's minimized, the arrow will be pointing to the right. When I click this little arrow, this will then collapse down to different instruments that are inserted within that specific section. So this is pretty obvious. I only have index related markets in my indexes session for example you have micro nasdaq micro s p 500 and more let's go ahead and add a new section how we do this is we want to make sure that we click any symbol within the watch list and right click over it and select add section within the context menu by default it's going to create a section with no name it will just typically default to say section one section two etc now notice that when i created the section it pulled the micro russell below section one I want to make sure that the micro Russell contract stays in my index section. So how we do that is we left click, we drag in into the index section, and now you can see the micro Russell has been reapplied back into my index section. I'm going to go ahead and minimize the index section, and I'm going to go ahead and rename the new section that we just created by right clicking over the section name and rename it. All right, now we're going to call this, for example, let's say currencies. All right. Now notice the arrow is pointing down. It's not inserting any instruments because we currently don't have any instruments inserted into the currency section. So let's just go ahead and right click on the currency section name and you'll see the option add symbol. So in this example, it's gonna be very logical for us to add currency related products. So let's just go ahead and add a few. For example, let's do the Euro currency and let's do the Australian dollar. And we'll do one more. Let's just do the British pound. All right. All right. Now you can see those instruments have been applied. And now you can see I'm able to minimize it. And I can see a nice clean look of the different sections that I have created. So I have indexes, I have currencies. Now you can rearrange the order of display of the sections as well just by simply left clicking on the, the actual currency or better yet, the section name. And just left click and drag. And this will allow you to move. The, the, the position of the, the section within your watch list. So let's just move index, indexes back on top. Now I can collapse down currencies and you can see all the different instruments inserted. All right, now if you wanna be able to remove a section, you wanna make sure first that you collapse down the currency section or section itself, because otherwise if it's not collapsed, if you right click, the only option you'll have is rename and add symbol. So you actually have to collapse down so you can see the instruments within that section and now you can right click and now you can actually remove the section. Now keep in mind when you remove the section, it does not remove the symbols that were inserted within that specific section. So you can see now the currencies are still there. So you need to actually click the X on the right side to actually remove the section from your watch, or better yet the symbol from your watch list. And this is how you create sections within the TradingView software. 